students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the structural testing in the white box testing. The structural testing is a type of software testing which uses the internal design of the software for testing or in other words, the software testing which is performed by the team which knows the development phase of the software is known as structural testing. Structural testing is basically related to the internal design and implementation of the software that is it involves the development team in the testing team. It basically tests different aspects of the software according to its type. Structural testing is just opposite to the behavioral testing. Structural testing is also known as glass box testing or white box testing is an approach where the tests are derived from the knowledge of the software structure or internal implementation. The other names of the structural testing includes clear box testing, open box testing, logic driven testing or path driven testing. The structural testing techniques consist of statement coverage. This technique is aimed at exercising all programming statement with minimal test. Second one is the branch coverage. The branch coverage technique is running a series of tests to ensure that all branches are tested at least once. The third one is the path coverage. The path coverage technique corresponds to testing all possible paths which means that each statement and branches are covered. The advantages of structural testing are as follows. The major advantages are forces test developer to reason carefully about the implementation reveals error in hidden codes, spot the dead code or other issues with respect to the best programming practices, it provides thorough testing of the software, it helps in finding out the defects at the early stage, it helps in elimination of dead codes and it is not time consuming as it is most of the time it is automated in its nature. The major disadvantages of structural box testing are it is expensive as one has to spend both the time and money to perform white box testing. Every possibility that few line of code is missed accidentally. In-depth knowledge about the programming language is necessary to perform the white box testing and it requires training in the tool used for testing. The different types of structural testing are Basically, the structural testings are divided into four different types. The first one is the control flow testing. The control flow testing is a type of structural testing that uses the program's control flow as a model. The entire code, design and structure of the software has to be known for this type of testing. Often this type of testing is used by the developer to test their own code and implementation. This method is used to test the logic of the code so that required result can be obtained. The second one is the data flow testing. It uses the control flow graph to explore the unreasonable things that can happen to the data. The detection of data flow anomalies are based on the association between values and variables without being initialized usage of variables. Initialized variables are not used once. The third one is a slice based testing. It was originally proposed by the Weiser and Gallagher for the software maintenance. It is useful for software debugging, software maintenance, program understanding and quantification of functional cohesion. It divides the program into different slices and tests that slice which can majorly affect the entire software. The fourth one is the mutation testing. The mutation testing is a type of software testing that is performed to design new software test and also evaluate the quality of already existing software test. Mutation test is related to modification of program in small ways. It focuses to help the tester develop efficient test or locate weakness in the test data used for the program. For calculating the structural testing effectiveness, the different equations used in the structural testing are the first one is statement test can be calculated by using the equation statement test is equal to 
number of statements exercised or executed divided by total number of statement into 100 percentage the second one is the branch testing the branch testing is calculated by the number of decision outcomes tested divided by the total number of decision outcomes into 100 percentage the third one is the path coverage testing which is calculated by using the formula number path exercise divided by total number of path in the program into 100 percentage so dear students in this lecture we had discussed the structural testing that is structural testing is a type of software testing which uses the internal design of a software for testing or in other words the software testing which is performed by the team which knows the development phase of the software is known as structural testing structural testing is also known as glass box testing or white box testing is an approach where the tests are derived from the knowledge of the software structure or internal implementation the other names of the structural testing includes clear box testing open box testing logic driven testing or path driven testing so my dear students kindly go through this assignment questions the question number one is define the structural testing and write about the advantages and disadvantages of structural testing the second question is write about the different types of structural testing so dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the code coverage in white box testing so see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best